When buying a gaming laptop, most people prioritize the GPU above all else, though a GPU isn't everything, as a good gaming laptop should also have fast memory and storage, as well as a capable CPU. Hey guys, Nico here from Ungeek, and today we're going to do a gaming test, but we're focusing on processor performance. Earlier this year, Intel launched its 12th gen Intel Core mobile processor lineup and they got a lot of hype for their improved performance and efficiency as well as great gaming performance. So does the latest line of Intel processors deliver for gaming? That's what we're here to find out with our 12th gen Intel Core mobile gaming test. The gaming test is brought to you in partnership with Intel, though for the sake of fairness, Intel did not see any of the gaming test results here before it was published. Specifically, we're going to be running a gaming test of the Intel Core i7-12700H, which powers the new Asus Tough Gaming F15. The laptop in our test also has 16GB of DDR5 memory, as well as an RTX 3060 6GB GPU with a 140W TGP. Before we start, let's go through why having a good CPU, and not just a good GPU, is important in a gaming laptop. In case you're not familiar with what a CPU actually does for games, here's a quick explainer. Though take note that this is just a simplified explanation to give new PC gamers an idea. Basically, the CPU handles various processes such as NPC AI, physical simulations, at least for most games, player input, and loading textures into memory, among others. Meanwhile, the GPU handles the actual rendering of each frame. Because the GPU renders the game's frames, it is the key component in getting higher FPS. But the CPU is also vital as having a weak processor means that you won't be able to extract the full performance out of your graphics card. So what happens if you have a slow CPU? This can result in noticeable frame rate drops when loading assets or when lots of NPCs are in the game. When playing games, you ideally want your GPU usage to be at max or near max so that you get the highest frame rate possible, while the CPU usage shouldn't be too high. There's no hard and fast rule as to what CPU usage is recommended, but it's safe to say that you don't want your CPU to be at 90% usage so that you have enough headroom when the game needs to load new assets or if more NPCs pop up. To give you a better idea of how bad frame rate drops are with an inadequate CPU, here's an example. Here we have Sekiro running on a 6-year-old gaming laptop. As you can see, the frame rate becomes stuttery when quickly traveling through a level. This is caused by the CPU not being fast enough. Another example is in Hitman 3, a demanding game on the CPU. Running the Dartmoor benchmark on the same laptop, you can clearly see how the game just stops when there are lots of objects flying around. Most new gaming laptops, even new entry-level ones, won't run into these issues running today's games, though this will become a problem around 3 or so years down the line when games become more demanding on the CPU side. Given this, it's important to have a powerful enough CPU for a gaming laptop as, unlike a gaming PC, you can't swap out the processor for a better one if it bottlenecks your graphics card. With that in mind, let's move on to the gaming test. For our test, we'll be running 6 games and checking not only their average FPS, but also the CPU usage. To start off, we have Dota 2. On our test laptop, the game ran with an average of 178.9 FPS at 1080p with all graphics settings at max, and the CPU usage hovered at just around 20 to 30%. This meant that the CPU has more than enough headroom to run other programs in the background while playing Dota 2. Next, we have Overwatch. The game ran with an average of 113.1 FPS at 1080p and at the Epic graphics preset. Similar to Dota 2, Overwatch did not stress the 12th gen Core i7 at all, with CPU usage only hovering at around the 30% mark, even in big team fights. The Overwatch result should also mean that the i7-12700H is a capable processor for other competitive shooters. Our third game is LEGO Star Wars The Skywalker Saga, and it ran at max settings and at 1080p with an average of 166.5 FPS, with a CPU usage of less than 20% for the most part. The latest LEGO Star Wars game is far from a demanding title, so the results aren't too surprising, but we were just interested to see how well the game runs on good hardware. 
The next game is Control, a more demanding AAA title. At 1080p and at the high preset with no ray tracing and no DLSS, the game ran at practically a locked 60fps with the CPU usage in the mid-20s to the mid-30% range. Though admittedly, we did run into some trouble as the game was capped at 60fps during our test. Still, on the CPU side, the i7-12700H had no issues with control. Now we move on to Hitman 3. On the Dartmoor benchmark where the old laptop struggled, the i7-12700H powered laptop had no issues. Even when lots of objects are flying around, the CPU usage only peaked at around 60%, all while the FPS held steady. In the actual game, Hitman 3 ran with an average of 105 FPS and at 1080p at the max graphics settings. CPU usage in game was also just around 50 to 60 percent. Finally, we have Cyberpunk 2077. At 1080p and at the high graphics preset with no DLSS or ray tracing, the game had a 67.1 FPS average frame rate. Among the games we tested, Cyberpunk used the most CPU, with CPU usage hovering at around 50 to 60 percent, with some peaks to over 70 percent. Still, CPU usage never got to above 80%, so there's still some headroom if you want to run other apps alongside the game. Based on our gaming tests, we found that the Intel Core i7-12700H is a powerful processor that has more performance to spare when paired with an RTX 3060. This is good if you want to multitask or if you were to run more demanding games in the coming years on your laptop. Though do take note that our test mainly focused on frame rate and CPU usage, and we did not dive deep into its power usage and temperature, as these can vary greatly depending on the laptop manufacturer. But if you want more info on productivity and battery life, you can check out our review of the i7-12700H in the descriptions below. Aside from our own gaming test, there are also reviews which confirm that the Intel 12th Gen processor has the performance advantage over other previous generation CPUs. So, with that, if you're in the market for a new gaming laptop, getting one that is powered by a 12th gen Intel Core mobile processor is recommended, especially over previous gen models if you want a device that you can game on for a long time. 12th gen Intel mobile CPUs are available with Acer Predator, Asus Tough and ROG, Lenovo Legion, and MSI laptops. These laptops are available in the Philippines at Abenson, Electroworld, Gigahertz, Lazada, Octagon, PC Express, Silicon Valley, and Vilman.